Hello and welcome to the MP Tech Group. Once again, out in our shop warehouse area. Uh, got a lot of products here in front of us to, to talk about and think about. And this is a continuation of our series where we're uh, kind of doing a YouTube video, some animations, some more, you know, really touch and feel uh, version of our um, project guides. And the project guides we have multiple of. We talk about RFID projects, we talk about choosing the right printer, choosing the right barcode scanner, and in this case, choosing the right mobile computer, and choosing the right mobile computer mainly for the warehouse. Uh, some of this would overlap and apply for uh, shop floor, but really this is mainly about warehousing and mobile computing and some of the options that we sell, some of what our preferences are, everybody's different, why you would pick one over the other, or why you might have a blended approach of, of several of these technologies all together. So let's get started. The place we always start, MC9300. This was an MC9090, 9190, 9290. Now the latest iteration is the 9300. Uh, our old faithful brick on a stick. Um, most of our customers use this device. This is our number one selling device as a company. It is uh, rugged. Uh, it uh, will, will last forever. People get at least five years out of these long-range scanners, really bright big screens, full keypad, uh, long battery life. Uh, this is really the de facto standard of what we sell, and that's why we sell it. So uh, our first choice for warehouse operations is uh, this device, the MC9300. Gosh, we really used to knock this one. You can use this one, the MC3300. Screen is smaller, buttons are smaller, battery smaller. Uh, did not used to have a long-range barcode scanner, so we really poo-pooed them. If you're on a budget and this is what, uh, what you can afford, it will work. It'll get the job done, but we just find people are so happy with this device that we hate to uh, see them go into this one, but we do sell them. Okay, both have buttons, have full, full keys. And depending on your software that you're running, that may or may not be. Uh, be what you really really need also another weird thing if you have older workers they tend to like these if you have younger workers they tend to be better uh, suited to uh, on-screen keypads so no no hard buttons on this on-screen key keypads this is a TC8000 the latest version of this is a TC8300 uh, the nice thing about this unit is it's really small it's compact and straight straight through it's got a long range scanner, but when you're scanning, you're looking at the screen and scanning the barcode. With this device, you're scanning and then you're tilting to look and even to key enter. So TC8000 series is another option. Okay, we see people do this. We don't like it. We've seen people choose this and then really hate it later. And that is that this is a, um, a PDA sized device. It's the TC5600, I believe it is from Zebra, there's, there's a 7,000, 700 series, 500 series, TC2, uh, 21, 26, um, all of these kind of, you know, about the same size. And some people will put this separate key, uh, I'm sorry, this separate trigger uh, base on it and use it in the warehouse. And you can do that. And the screen is larger than this screen. And it's even a little bit larger than this screen. Uh, but there's some downsides to this. Uh, it's just not as friendly uh, to work with all day, every day. It's not as well balanced. Uh, the battery does not last as long in this device as it does in the TC9300. And to change the battery out, you got to take this off and you have to pull the battery out separately. A lot of people don't like that. You cannot get a long range imager here. You can get the new mid range imager on this, but if you're really doing rugged warehouse work, we just don't recommend this. So that's kind of the mobile computer offerings, the PDA with the, with the Grafton on handle, you know, the TC8 uh, touch computer, no buttons, and then the old fashioned style uh, MC devices with full keypads on them. Let's shift over to wearables. And uh, we do have customers that use wearables. There's a couple of uh, advantages to them and a couple of disadvantages. Number one, if you are doing you know, hands-free work where I need my hands free and uh, I need to be able to you know, interface with a computer and scan barcodes uh, and have both hands free to do product picking, whatever, this is a good option. A couple of downsides to them. 
Number one, and I've got this on backwards, sorry, but the, uh, the screen size is really small on these. And there's no keypad. They do have a little grafted on the side, you know, numeric only keypad. But for key entry, these are not the best. And another problem with these is you have to wear them. And then somebody else has to wear them. So customers who choose this option uh, tend to choose, uh, t tend to buy a lot of these uh, wearable parts. And then uh, th this device comes and goes off of, um, off of the, the wrist mount. Uh, pretty easily uh, same, same well the finger mount doesn't come off as easily but anyway the wearing and the somebody's got this on and sweating in it eight hours a day and then somebody else has to use it you either have to assign it to the same person the whole time or you have to have a bunch of these so you can just slide this off and everybody kind of has their own wearable part uh, I showed it here with the uh, Bluetooth ring scanner which is an option uh, there is a tethered scanner so you don't have the ex extra battery uh, of, a, of the scanner. You also don't have, um, uh, it's not as big and, and it's a little bit easier to deal with. You don't have two devices. You don't have the Bluetooth pairing to mess with. So a wearable with a, with a ring scanner that is tethered is, is another option. Uh, last thing on these, people will take this device and get a wrist mount for it. I frankly, I see this in Walmart. I see people walking around Walmart with a uh, touch computer that's just kind of on their wrist um, or on their, their forearm here. So that is another option. Wearable, something to look at, something to think about, depending on your operations, depending on your software that you're running and whether the screen size is a problem, that might be an option for you. Tablets. Uh, What's the big advantage? Screen size. There's no two ways about it. If you've got an application where uh, used to be, if you're running full Windows, this was your only option. So people trying to run QuickBooks out in a warehouse, they're trying to run the full Windows instance. Uh, a Windows tablet was the option. There are barcode scanners on these now. Uh, there is a mid-range scanner, and some people still have an application that just really needs that full screen size, and using a tablet for that. Uh, is an option. And this is using a tablet as kind of a walk around with mobile computer. The other option for tablets in the warehouse is to forklift mount uh, tablets. And this is something about five years ago we really started to see this come to be. The traditional uh, forklift mount terminal is this. And this thing weighs a ton. It is heavy. It is robust. It will last forever. This one's got keys on it. You can get them with or without keys. If you get them without keys, the screen is bigger. These you can run full windows on. Uh, these you put a really rugged mount up on your forklift and you maybe also have a tethered or a, a, a Bluetooth scanner that you can all tether to the forklift and have on a retractor as well. This is kind of the big heavy duty uh, solution. Um, you don't have any batteries because everything powers off of the forklift. Uh, it's mounted permanently. You know, it's like the radio in your car. You get in your car, you turn it on and it's there and it works. Uh, cold supply chain, we see use these a lot. Um, so if, if you're cross docking and your operations are, I have people on forklifts, they never get off the forklifts, it's pallet in, pallet out. That's more where we tend to see these. There are some efficiencies in those cases. And then the big question is, am I going with the old fashioned, big, hard and rugged thing? Or am I going to uh, take a tablet and I'll open this so you see, you know, it's a tablet and uh, put it in a forklift mount um, and mount it up in my forklift this way. So the tablet's in there. Um, and that gives you the ability to then remove the tablet, do work if you want to there, put it back in. It is a little lower cost uh, than the full forklift mount terminal and gives you some flexibility, um, but it's not as rugged. Um, they're pretty good, but it's not as rugged. And so there's a couple factors you have to look at. If you're going inside and outside on your forklifts and you're on rough surfaces and you're out in the cold and the rain and you're in a, you're in a freezer, this might still be the way to go. Uh, if you've got a little more light duty, your floors are smooth, you're all indoors, uh, then a tablet and a forklift mount might be the option for you. One more thing. So you can, what we see most people do we don't see most people do this. We have customers who do this. We have a lot of customers who do this. But for the most part, what we see is somebody use the old brick on a stick 
and you put some kind of a mount. Now, we see customers who just throw them in the holder on the, uh, on the forklift, but most of the time, we see customers do some sort of a forklift mount for the mobile computer where you can put it in there and it's, you know, it's holstered, it's taken care of, you pull it out when you need it, you put it back in when you don't. There are also options to uh, kind of more permanently mount. This is made for the TC8300 where you can mount it in a hard mount and uh, it stays up there so you can view it and work on it like you would a forklift terminal but also easily pull it off and do some work with it. So mounting mobile computers on your uh, forklift uh, just so you've kind of got a positive place to keep them, they're not falling out, they're less likely to get broken is another way to go. Okay, we, uh, we now want to talk about mobile computing in the warehouse but it's a little different and that's mobile power carts because sometimes your application, and a lot of these applications are driven, a lot of what you choose is driven by your software application and your environment. We see people that have a lot of products on pallets where it's not convenient to move the whole pallet to an operator to get it processed and then have a forklift move it back. It's better to take your workstation to the product. So you would have your laptop here, you would have one or two or uh, you know a couple of label printers on this on this cart and you would actually take a full workstation with a barcode scanner, maybe even a large monitor uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the work. You take the workstation to the work rather than taking the work uh, to the workstation. Uh, so mobile power is, is another way to go. Couple more things to talk about that I don't have good props for, but one is, uh, gosh, I've got five locations. I've got 300 of these. Uh, they're all running Android. Uh, they all need to be updated, they all need to be managed, they all go in for repair, they all come back. How do I manage all that without having to touch every one of them? And that's where uh, we use uh, Sony Mobi Control, but some kind of a mobile device management software tool. They're all cloud-based now. We can help you get them set up. You can uh, update these on a schedule. You can update them when you want to update them. You can remote into them and help uh, train operators and solve problems. Uh, software to control uh, this fleet that you now have of mobile computers is almost table stakes now. You almost have to have it. And by the way, sometimes it helps to have somebody like us helping you do that, helping you manage your fleet, helping do some tier one uh, support for you on the devices, uh, helping you set up uh, SODI and manage them. Uh, we can step in and, and do a lot of that. We've always done printer service work. Now more and more we're starting to help customers manage and uh, help users manage uh, these mobile computer devices. So that's what we got. Uh, we're always here to help. EMPTechGroup.com, best place to find us.